Thank you for coming to Starbright Storytime. Today is the book review for the books read through week six. The first book is Each Peach, Pear, Plum by Janet and Alan Alberg. This, pic this picture book has lovely, soft, delicate illustrations. It is an I Spy book. So it's fun, and it features characters from traditional nursery rhymes. The next book was My Dad Used to Be So Cool by Keith Negley. This book has interesting artwork that looks like a blend of the past and the present. And this is a storybook about a child's perception of the parent. The third book was My Life as a Chicken, as told by Ellen A. Kelly, with pictures by Michael Slack. This book definitely has more of a contemporary feel with its illustrations, and the protagonist is very dramatic, which makes for some great storytelling. Good bedtime story. The next book is The World Needs Who You Were Made to Be by Joanna Gaines, illustrated by Juliana Sweeney. This is a lovely picture book. Also makes for a great bedtime story. This book is meant to be a celebration of the individual the character of each child. It is meant to encourage children to see their own greatness and be proud of themselves and to see the impact they have within the community. The next book was Mama, Do You Love Me? by Barbara M. Juice, illustrated by Barbara Lavely. And this book stems from inspirations of Inuit culture and tradition. Beautiful illustrations in this book. This one also makes a great bedtime story. It also makes a good gift to any child, young or old, that may be going through a time of doubt. One nice feature of this book is that there is a glossary of terms in the back which highlights high value significance items. This is to say that this reference section refers to different animals and items which were spoken throughout the storyline and it reveals significance that these items have in the Inuit culture and tradition. The next book was Bronco and Friends, Mission Possible by Tim Tebow with A.J. Gregory, illustrated by Jane Chapman. This book has wonderful artwork. It features many different characters. 
gorgeous illustrations and from what I understand Bronco and friends go on other adventures in other books that have been published by the author and finally On Noah's Ark by John Brett. John Brett creates gorgeous illustrations. It's a very simple story, the tradition of Noah's Ark but the illustrations are rather realistic and the illustrator does a wonderful job depicting the animals. As you can see. That is all. Those are all the books that were read for week six. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for supporting uh, my channel and subscribing, and I will continue to be reading more and more books. Take care and greetings from Starbright Storytime.